CAU. If you're trying to grow your business, add diversity. It'll climb the tracks in university. When it comes to getting clients, you face adversity. You need to hit up, climb the tracks in university. Climb the tracks. Attraction University, 250 million in revenue for coaches, consultants, and service providers all across the globe. And that number is growing as you listen to this. Want more clients, profit, freedom, and impact? Go to paydadplaybook.com. If you're trying to grow your business, add diversity. Hit up client attraction university. When it comes to getting clients, you face adversity. You need to hit up client attraction university. Paydadplaybook.com. That's P A I D ad playbook.com. How would you like to know how I make a million dollars before 9 a.m.? So before most people are waking up, I've already made a million dollars. In this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how to do it. So first and foremost, I'm Dr. Mark Warren Russell, the king of client attraction, the CEO and co-founder of Client Attraction University. And to date, we've helped our clients to over $1 billion dollars in revenue, and our goal is to help 1 million black service-based businesses add an extra $1 million to their annual revenue, which is adding a trillion dollars to the global economy and the black community. And one of the ways to do that is by creating video content like this that you can take and actually apply into your business, okay? So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, quick disclaimer. When I'm talking about how I make a million dollars before 9 a.m., I'm actually not talking about necessarily a million dollars in cash that hits the bank account, right? I'm talking about something actually more powerful. Okay. And it's actually how I do it with my morning routine. So I'm going to walk you through this. I'm making this video because somebody asked me about, okay, what's your market morning routine? And a lot of times people ask me about this when I'm doing, when I'm doing podcasts and interviews and things of that nature as well. So I want to get into it and kind of take you behind the scenes for a second. Okay. So I'm going to walk you through this step by step by step. And I'm actually going to keep this short because I'm actually got to do another part of my morning routine. It's actually 6, 18 a.m. Eastern time. Most people are still asleep, but I'm going to get this video in before I get out of here. Okay. So let's dive in. So here's how I do it. Now, here's how I gamify this to actually encourage me to actually do it consistently. Right. So I'm gamifying it in my mind. So let me walk you through this real quick. Now, before I even get to the morning routine, I'm going to go to my whiteboard as well and walk through this. So I want you to understand my morning routine actually starts the night before. Right. So my goal is to, so typically I do, this is before I even get into the morning stuff. So my eating window, right, is during the day, I eat from 12 p.m. At the time of me doing this video, I eat from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. 6 p.m., I'm done eating, right? So this is my intermittent fasting window. I eat for six hours and then I fast for 18 hours. My body goes into a fasting state even when I train in the morning, I'm, I'm fasting state and I eat at 12, okay? So now, after I'm done eating, I typically, ideally like to be in bed at 9 a.m. to 9.30 a.m., right? I like to be in the bed ideally, right? So this will actually, and I, and I get up at 3.45 a.m., okay? So ideally, I want to be up at six hours. I want to have six hours of sleep, right? This is optimal for me. Most people say they got to have eight, they got to have nine hours, different things of that nature. I'm not going to argue with any of that, but I know for me, I'm optimal at six, Right, anywhere from six to eight, but I'm super optimal at six, so I'm totally fine there. Okay, so now part of my nightly routine, but again, I haven't even got to the morning. Jim Ron has this quote where he says, You never start a day until it's done on paper. Right, of course, my, my day is already planned. I'll do a whole nother training video on how I plan my weeks and plan my days. I do a totally another video on that because I want to keep this one short and straight to the point. So my day is already pretty much planned because I, I get that done way far in advance. Again, I do another video on that. But my morning starts the evening before because how I end my evening is going to dictate how I start my morning in most cases. So one of the things I do in my nightly routine is I take a shower and in that shower, I drip some lavender oil in it. Lavender oil helps you sleep. It's an essential oil, right? So I drip some of that in there and it steams up. So I do that and it helps me sleep amazing. I've been like testing this because I use an oil ring to track my sleep and I can even tell how I feel, right? So lavender oil. Number two is I have some chamomile tea, right? All organic chamomile tea. So I drink the tea and then I take magnesium. It's like a natural muscle relaxer basically, right? So these three things, this is like my pre-sleep routine. Also, ideally, unless my kids are in the room, my wife is still up, things of that nature, I like for the room to be black, pitch black, and then I like the room to be cool. Ideally, 
70 degrees, 68 to 70 degrees, right? And I'm also, I'm ordering, I haven't done it yet, but I'm gonna order these black eye covers. I haven't ordered them yet, but I am gonna get them. It's gonna help me, you know, black it out even more, okay? So that's, I like the room cool. Again, my wife, sometimes we go back and forth. She likes it warm, I like it cool. So we kind of go back and forth with that, right? So, so this is my evening before the morning even starts. Now let's get to the morning. So when I get up in the morning, 3.45 a.m., wake up. So I set an alarm, I wake up. When I wake up, that's 100,000, right? So I made 100,000 for getting up at 35. So I'm gamifying this and programming myself. And it's all when it comes to wealth consciousness and money consciousness helps as well, again, which is a whole nother video. So wake up, 100,000. 100, then prayer. First thing I do is pray before my feet even hit the floor typically is another 100,000, okay? Then from there, I head to my office, which is upstairs. I typically like to have my, again, before I go to bed also, I like to have my water for the morning prepped. So now I already have it and I don't have to go downstairs to get water. So I hyperhydrate first thing in the morning. So for me, this looks like 32 ounces of water. So I actually have a big mason jar. Had that already ready in the morning, okay? So 32 ounces of water, it's another 100,000, okay? Then I get up to my office and when I get into my office, I have my, I have a worship, I have a worship music playlist on my phone, right? So it's on my phone. And also, by the way, before I go to bed, the last thing before I go to bed is I, I, I shall, I should put this on here. I put my phone in airplane mode, right? So that way I don't wake up to see texts and things of that nature. Also, I don't know, you can't see it on here. You might be able to see it. You might be able to see it. My, you see my screen is yellow. So I have this setting on my phone that at a certain time, I think it's actually at 8 a.m. or 7 a.m. I got to double check on what time I got it set to. My phone goes into the blue light setting on my phone. So if I'm because like it's a study that shows that the blue light affects your sleep. So I have mine go into yellow. I think I might got it set. On, I got to just I got to double check my settings. But anyway, I have it set up. So 8 p.m. and I may even set it to go earlier. I may have to go from like six like when i'm going into down mode i'm actually going to do that right now so i'm going to go from six i'm actually updating it right now so it takes me out of the blue light even sooner so i got it in night shift mode so it shifts to color my display and it goes to 7 a.m so it yellows out my screen right so boom that's that so i have that set up the night before so let me jump back here i super hyperhydrate again i have a you can see that I got my playlist on there for my, I got like my worship music. Um, so I, I'm kind of, my time with God, like first thing in the morning, I got that already planned, kind of setting the atmosphere. I like to get up at 3.45 earlier because I like to get my kids up. I got to get my kids up two hours later. So I like to have my own me time with myself for those for that um, hour or two, or depending on like what's going on, probably like an hour, hour and some change. So I put it on shuffle and I just have it randomly playing. Okay? So play, worship, Playlist, right? So another again, another hundred thousand. Boom. While that's playing, I'm journaling, right? Another hundred thousand. My prompts, because a lot of times people used to tell me to journal, or I used to always study a lot of super successful people, and they told me that they journal, right? But I could never figure out, okay, how do you just sit down and just write? Because I feel like I would be writing all day. So I, I end up getting this book called the the Five Minute Journal, right? I may have a link to it in the bio or something like this um, or a description or whatever, but it's the five minute journal. I actually started buying those and kept racking up on them. And then I end up just taking the prompts from it and just create my own version of it. I actually used the Remarkable to do my journaling. Um, and I'm not sponsored by any of these people, by the way. I'm just sharing with you all the tools. I may have some, if you're watching this on YouTube, I may have some links to like the tools in the description section for you to grab up, right? If they're going to, if I can find an affiliate link where they're going to pay me. But other than that, I just want to make sure you got the tools. So, um, so yeah, so in there, I asked myself three questions. Number one, what are three things I'm grateful for? What would make today great? I write an affirmation and then I um, just do like some journaling, whatever my thoughts I have. I just write a little bit, right? And that's my journaling. Then my journal is done. Probably takes me about five minutes or so, really straight to the point. So that's 100,000, right? Then from there, I go through my morning success doc. So I'm just calling it my MS doc. So my morning success document, it has like, my vision, my three-year goals, my definite major purpose, concept from thinking to grow rich, my 10-year goals, six-month goals. So I'm looking at all my goals. I'm looking at the vision that I have for myself. 
So going through all those different things, right? Also, I got some pictures, like a digital vision board, so to speak. So this theater of the mind, um, which is a concept from the um, Maxwell Maltz book, um, Psycho Cybernetics. So I'm going through all that to kind of remind myself of my future self, who I am and who I'm developing and growing into, right? So I'm going through that. It's another 100,000, right? So, so far I'm at 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm at $600,000. I'm over half a million dollars already. So I get my morning success documented, right? Boom. So I go through that. Then once I'm done with that, I brain train, right? So I use this tool called um, Lumosity for brain training. So it's, it's, it's games basically, but it's still triggering your brain, helping you with your memory, helping you with your recall, helping you with your all, all different types of stuff, right? So I brain train. Um, that's 100,000. This is a tool called Lumosity, right? So um, that's that's that, right? Let me go to another page because I'm writing this too, way too big. Once that's done, I do a meditation. And it's not like a long meditation. I know some people who meditate for like 30, 45 minutes in the morning, an hour. I don't. I do a 10-minute meditation, right? I, it's just an audio video I found on YouTube, right? Again, another 100,000. And then from there, I go into my, it's going to trip you out. I do my morning stack, Right? So my morning stack is this. These are all like devotionals. So it's pretty much just like one page. It's like a surge of wisdom, right? So I'm getting like one page in from each one of these because they're like devotionals, right? Daily Stoic, Daily Laws, all these. So I'm reading through those. You know, don't doesn't take me that long. So I go through, go through those. And then whatever book I'm reading. So my morning stack, that'll give me a hundred grand, right? Get through that. So that put me at one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, wait, you don't see my screen. So it puts me at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm at 900,000, right? So now, by this time, and then also I like to get 30 to 45 minutes of reading in, depending on what book I'm on, right? I'll typically get some reading in within that time. So that'll give me another 100,000. So obviously I'm at a million now. And it's going to take me over. And then I wake my kids up. Wake kids up, another 100,000. And this also comes with waking my kids up and doing their morning success ritual with them. So I do like affirmations with them. I make them a smoothie, make sure their clothes and stuff is ironed, take them to the bus stop. So that's 100,000, you know, doing their thing with them. And then once they're all settled, right, then I head to the gym, right, and then train. By the time I leave the gym, it's probably like eight something. And then I get back home. And then my, my business day technically starts like 9, 9, 30. I'm creating content earlier today because I was already in content mode because I had to fix something. On Wednesdays, because this is a Wednesday, it's actually more of a flex day. So I throw off the routine a little bit on Wednesdays because Monday and Tuesday, I went hard with the routine. Wednesday, I kind of throw it off a little bit like I did then. And then Thursday and Friday, I kind of lock back in on it. So that's pretty much the whole process. Again, I'm going to show you that one more time. That's the whole process, the whole rundown of how I do the morning success ritual. So think about which, what I want you to do is look at your day and figure out what does your morning routine look like right now? How can you adjust it? What can some adjustments can you make? Thank you so much for checking out this episode. Have a phenomenal day because you absolutely deserve it. Talk to you soon. What's the difference between you and mega successful coaches and consultants with a dream business? Simple. They're getting more leads than you are. What if there was a way to get 50 to 100 leads every single day like clockwork? Would you want it? Then go to www.getdailyclients.com to access our paid ad playbook that has brought in millions of leads for our clients over the years on complete autopilot. This is the podcastfactory.com.